Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So today, I want to talk a little bit about um, a topic that I don't see a whole lot of folks mentioning, and that's agritourism. And how can that be beneficial for you on your farm, and how can that be beneficial for you as a potential farm customer? So hang out with us for a little bit. We've got a farm tour coming up today. It's our first ever friends and family farm tour here at Sheraton Park Farms. We got a group of folks coming out. We're gonna go out and show them the farm. But I wanna to talk to you about some tips that you need to be thinking about as a farmer and some things that you might wanna be looking for if you're a potential customer going out to visit a farm that you're thinking about patronizing. So hang out with us for a little bit and let's talk about uh, getting to know your farmer. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about exactly what it is we're doing here. So we're having our very first friends and family farm tour here at Sheraton Park Farms today. And what we've done is we've created uh, an event that it is a, there is a ticket, and we'll talk a little bit about the ticket here in just a minute. Uh, ticket required to come out, and we're gonna do a two hour farm tour of exactly what it is that we do here. We're gonna give folks an opportunity to see the animals, see how we raise the animals. We're going, you know, this is a kid-friendly event. We want folks to come out, take plenty of pictures, ask lots of questions, and really kind of connect with us and learn about us and how we do things here on the farm. There's a couple things at play here. Um, first off, it seems that there is a real hunger among folks to connect with the land and where their food comes from. We live just outside of Greensboro. I've said it before, you know, it's the one, two, third, third or fourth largest city in North Carolina. And there's just not a, you know, there's not a lot of opportunity for folks to get out and, and experience agriculture this close to town. So we're making it possible for folks to come out, bring their kids, they're gonna to get to see the pigs, the chickens, the sheep, the goats, the whole deal, everything that we do here and experience a farm firsthand. So as a farmer, that gives you an opportunity to showcase exactly who you are, what you do, and how you do it. Um, it also gives you an opportunity to generate a little bit of revenue. We're charging eight bucks a head for all adults over 18 to come out and see the farm. We think that's a very fair price. Um, we're gonna take two hours out of our day, which is two hours that we normally would be using to projects, animal care, whatever the case may be. Um, so th there's a value there that we're gonna give for our time and we think that we need to be paid for that time. So eight bucks, eight bucks a head, it's a very reasonable, I mean, you can't go to McDonald's and get a daggone meal for eight bucks. So, I mean, well, I guess you probably can because it's cheap food, but you can't, you know, you can't go out and spend $8 and get as much value as what we're gonna give you for two hours. On the consumer side, if you're interested in visiting a farm, you should find a farm that's doing some tours. Go out and actually see how they're raising their animals. How is that food being produced? What do they, uh, what are their principles? How are they raising those animals? You know, do, are they using antibiotics, chemicals? And the way, do, the way that they're raising that food, <clears throat> does that align with your value system and the food that you wanna raise your family, that you wanna feed to your family? So find a farm, uh, and if they're charging an admission price, those guys are taking time out of their day, they're stopping what they're doing, they're interrupting their normal work, to spend some time with you and show you what they're doing. So, you know, eight, 10, 12, even 20 bucks. I mean, I think, I don't know what Salton charges at, at Polyface, um, but you know, it's, it's a good value and it's a way for you to really see um, how that farm operates, where your food comes from. So from the farmer side and the consumer side, lots of value there. So let's talk about some other things that we got going on, um, how we've set up to do this farm tour, some things that use the, the consumer, the customer might wanna think about. And then we're gonna shoot some footage of folks being here. We're gonna walk around, take a look at all the animals, and uh, then we'll come back at the end and kind of wrap this thing up. So again, stick around with us. Let's do a farm tour today and talk about the benefits for both the farmer and the consumer. So to prepare for the tour, We've done, we spent a lot of time this past week kind of picking up, straightening up, cleaning up, mowing, um, trying to make everything look nice. So on the farm side, if you're gonna have folks out to your farm, you want things to look good. Um, you don't want a bunch of junk laying around. You don't want a bunch of trash laying around. Understanding that it is a working farm and you're gonna have areas where you have staging of equipment, supplies, and that kind of thing. 
just let folks know about that. I mean, it, it is a working farm, but you don't want just a bunch of junk laying around. You don't want, you know, three or four old half broke down tractors, you know, parked in the parked in the yard and you know you don't want to look in junky so pick everything up make it look nice and uh get your farm ready from the um consumer side if you're going to visit a farm you want to look and make sure that the place does look neat that it's not you know got a bunch of junk laying around again understand that a working farm um is going to have equipment supplies staging of materials and that kind of thing around. I mean, you know, these guys have got to have stuff to, to actually work with and run their operation with. So we've <clears throat> worked this week to get our, our blackberries kind of trellised up. We've got some of them looking nice. Still got a few that's to go, but I mean, it's it's fine. It doesn't look trashy. Um, garden looks nice. We don't have any extra tools or buckets or any of that kind of stuff just laying around. I mean, we've picked all that stuff up. So presentation of your property and presentation of the property that you're visiting is important it needs to look nice so something else that we're doing is we're going to fix some samples of some products from what we have here on the farm i think it's a good way to really let folks experience everything that the farm has to offer um, they're going to see the animals see how you raise those animals how you care for the animals but also if you can give them an opportunity to try a little something um, we've got some thick, some thin cut pork chops. We've got some of our breakfast sausages. Sandra has made some um, meatballs. We got a little bit of chicken cooking. What's, what are those brats? Yeah. We got some bratwurst. So what we're going to do is, you know, we're certainly not not going to feed a meal here, but give everybody a chance to sample a few things. Got a little chicken there, so we'll have some, you know, pieces of chicken. We'll have some pieces of pork chop here. So give folks a you know a chance to try what you've got and really experience um, the full the, you know the full effect of what the farm's offering, which in the end is a good high quality food product. If you're a visitor going to a farm, this is something that you might want to look for: is do they have some samples available, or do they have something that you can try to get an idea of of exactly what their products are? Do they have some products at least available for you to look at? You know, some packages of chicken or bratwurst or sausage or whatever. So another opportunity here as a farmer to share exactly what you're doing and as a consumer to experience what the farm that you're going to be buying your food from has to offer. Also have some refreshments available. Um, water is super cheap. You can get a 48 pack of water at your local big box store for like two bucks. I mean, it's nothing. So have some refreshments available so that folks have uh, have a little something to drink, especially on a hot day. We've got a beautiful day here today. It's probably mid 60s, the sun's shining. Um, it's just a gorgeous day, perfect day for this, but still have a little bit of, have a little bit of water, some refreshments or something for your, for your customers and your visit, visitors. We're gonna do a fire here. We're gonna uh, build a fire in the fire ring just to kind of give it a little bit of a homey feel. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, just, you want, you want folks to be comfortable. Uh, the farm that you're visiting, they should make you feel comfortable. They should make you feel welcome. And uh, it should be worth your time and effort to go uh, to go out and visit the farm. Well, y'all, we'll get started. Um, okay. It's a couple minutes after one. Um, first off, we appreciate y'all coming out. This is our first time doing this, so we ask for a little bit of a little bit of grace if we if we stumble on something. But we really appreciate y'all coming out. Um, what we wanted to do is we really wanted to open the farm up so folks could kind of see where their food's coming from. Um, you know, nowadays I know a lot of folks uh, are living in neighborhoods and cities and areas where you just don't have access to a lot of animals. So we wanted to want the folks to have an opportunity to come out and see some critters and bring the kids. If you've got a camera, we encourage you to take all the pictures you want to take. Um, we'll have an opportunity for the kids to, you know, pet and touch as much as they want, as much as we can let them. You know, like baby piglets, it's impossible to catch a baby piglet. If we pick one of those things up, it's going to start squealing, and we're going to have an issue with a mama pig, and that's not going to be good for anybody. Um, <clears throat> this is a working farm. Um, there are fences here. Assume that the fence is hot. 
90% of them are. We've got uh, one or two fences that don't have any juice on. But that means electrified. Fence is hot. Watch your step. We do have, um, you know, potholes and trip hazards and hoses stretched and that kind of thing. But uh, we just want y'all to enjoy yourselves. Um, ask any questions that you've got. We'll kind of talk about what we do and how we do things here. And, uh, again, if you've got any questions, just, just jump in there and, and ask us. Um, Sonner and I bought this farm about four years ago now. We bought this in June of 17. We came here with basically zero agricultural experience outside of just keeping a few bees. What we do here, we've learned to do Sounds with familiar. books and YouTube and <laughs> seminars and that kind of thing. So we're we're fairly green at it, but we've had this pretty steep trajectory on what we've done. We started out with six pigs. Right now there's about 70 pigs on this farm. There's a little over 400 chickens, some turkeys, some goats, some sheep. I mean, we've got a, we've got a whole bunch of different stuff going on. So. Beal of Beely Good Farms, a uh, new YouTube channel. A uh, fellow farmer here in Central North Carolina came out and uh, was with us during the tour and shot a lot of the footage um, uh, that you just saw in the uh, in the actual farm tour piece of uh, what we did today. So a couple things to keep in mind. Um, remind folks uh, as they're going to be on your farm that it is a working farm. Uh, remind them of trip hazards and that kind of thing. Um, that sort of thing to look out for. Um, you might want to talk to your um, insurance carrier about liability insurance of having um, agritourism events and having folks on your farm and just make sure that you're you know well covered there and you're not exposing yourself to any unnecessary liability or anything like that um, we did not do waivers uh, we certainly don't want to take up a bunch of time uh, even though it may be the smart thing to do we don't want to take up time to uh, distract folks from the farm the farm experience and what we're you know what we're trying to accomplish here and that's to show them um, what's going on on an actual farm uh, on the flip side again if you're a potential consumer and you're going to a farm tour um, remember that it is a working farm that's an operation that is a business um, so be aware of potential hazards fences are going to be hot um, there could potentially be trip hazards Holes in the ground, you know, our chickens will dig a, a hole for a dust bath that you could stick a bowling ball down in. So be on the lookout for that kind of thing. Overall, great day. We ended up with about 30 folks here. I think Sondra said there were 16 adults, 14 kids. So um, the, uh, the attendance was outstanding. Kids seemed like they had a great time even after everybody was done. We had folks that were kind of sitting around the fire ring Kids were out in the yard playing, running, just having a good time and really enjoying themselves. I think some of the moms and dad probably had a good time letting the kids kind of go do their thing um, and let them uh, enjoy being outside, burn off a little bit of energy. And I'm sure some of them probably slept pretty well last night. So 16 adults, that was 16 um, admission tickets that we had. Um, and then again, we, we had some samples out. We showed a little bit of that uh, a few minutes ago. 
had some samples out. Folks were able to try some things. Um, I think folks were surprised at how good everything was, um, how flavorful, and you know, being able to see those animals and how they're raised, I think gives you a little bit more of a context on where the food comes from and kind of connects you more to that food and understanding the value of it. So we ended up having um, quite a few sales um, that uh, was about a third of what one of our normal farmers markets is on a, on a Saturday. So two hours worth of work. Um, we got exposed to some potential new customers, had some sales, super excited for the farm, was well worth our time and effort. For those customers, uh, they were able to actually see a working farm, see those animals, um, see how their food's being raised and uh, connect with a local farmer and a good local business. So hopefully we've de we're developing some more um, long-term relationships um, with, that potential, um, with that potential customer base through those farm tours. So if you're a farm, again, if you're considering doing farm tours, um, I would encourage it. Make sure that you've got a good setup, that you're giving folks value for their time and money that they're gonna spend with you. And if you're a consumer, look for a farm that's doing tours so that you can actually go out and see how things are being done on that specific farm that you're thinking about uh, patronizing. So anyway, I've rambled enough. Um, I'm gonna post a link to a couple other videos over here, other stuff I've got going on. I'm down here in the new uh, maternity ward for Big Mama and Little Mama. Uh, we got some more piglets on the way, so uh, excited about that. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, follow along with us. We appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.